So if you want to be a good jazz clarinet player and an improviser, it's very important that we study the masters. And one of the greatest exponents on clarinet was Benny Goodman. Today I'm going to teach you three very important Benny Goodman licks. Practicing licks like this is a great way to learn the jazz language while developing technique on the instrument. So here we go with three Benny Goodman licks that you should know. Benny loved to syncopate his arpeggios. Let's look at our G major arpeggio. So we take that G major arpeggio and first of all we break it up. Now what we do is we displace that pattern one eighth note over. It sounds like this. Three, four. Okay, and we add a swing rhythm to it. One, two, three, uh. Benny loved swinging that arpeggio in that fashion. It's a great exercise, work on that. Number two. This one is in our key of C major. alternating between our E and our D sharp or our E flat. Now we add a little bit of ornamentation, a little bit of a mordant onto that. Another lick that Benny loved to use in the key of B flat. It's a little bit of a bluesy phrase. And it works, it works on any of the registers in the clarinet. So there's three Goodman licks to practice and to develop. Now there's many more amazing bits of jazz language that we can learn from Benny Goodman. And if you want to go to jazzclarinetlessons.com, there's a brand new ebook called Playing in the Style of Benny Goodman. The link is in the description below. It's a very thorough and practical approach to learn some of these phrases and incorporate them into your own playing to make your swing improvisation more authentic and more musical. That's all for today. We'll see you next time. Thank you.